everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, if you're new here, my name is Valerie and this is Violet. She's my little co-host. This is my little sweetheart. She's my little sweetheart. And um, so um, today we are doing my first, my very, very first Ipsy Glam Plus. So yeah, I was really excited. I was not expecting, I was on the wait list. I was not expecting to get it until May. That's what they said. And I got an April one. So I'm really super excited about this. And uh, if you're new here, um, what I do is I try to come up with a look of any beauty box that I get. I try to come up with a, a look um, and do the look and then I go through the box. So I did do my look with the Ipsy Glam Plus or Glam Bag Plus, um, even though it's not a bag. So anyway, if you don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a monthly subscription, beauty subscription. Um, they have two different ones. You can do the one that's $10 a month and you get normally about five sample sized items to try. And it you have a little bit of tax on the $10. So mine was like $10.70, but shipping is free and you get it every month. Then they ex have expanded to Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and that is $25 a month, and then you have some tax, shipping's free, and you get five, four, I think five, at least five full-size products, and they're, they're kicking it, you know, they're really kicking it. They're uh, giving BoxyCharm a run for their money. So... This is my first one. Um, I was so excited to get it, and I am going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. And I like that saying right there. Okay. And then you got the little foam crate there, and there's all the goodies. And they give you a pamphlet um, that tells you about all the products inside your box. And... Uh, a price, the retail, what the retail price is on them. Um, and then it gives on this month, it says your Glam Bag Plus to-do list. Um, it's get to know your products. You got it, now flaunt it. Talk to us and get more. So that's kind of cool. And then um, it says now in season, fresh spring beauty. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read everything in there. So let's get into this guys and i thought it was a good one i was really really happy with this one so yeah i was really really pleased so i'm going to go in order of what uh this booklet says and this is and i've used this already so it's, it's i haven't cleaned it so uh but i do like it it is from it cosmetics it is a heavily heavenly skin skin smoothing complexion brush number 704 the retail value of this brush is $48, and I'm going to take it out of this little container. I need to hide that because Ms. Violet will probably take off with it. She's sitting here scoping it out. Now, I've used this for my foundation. It said you can use it for skincare or foundation or makeup, and I've used it for my foundation. Normally, I'm one that I like to use my fingers, and this was about the only product, the only one I have really enjoyed using as far as brushes. And um, it really blends really nice, and it gives me a nice look. And I used it today on my foundation, and I really, really like it. I tried the Beauty Blenders, and... I'm not real fond of those. I don't know why. I just really don't care for those too much, but I do like this. Um, it's a very, very nice brush. Very nice and soft, and it blends really nice. I love the handle. The handle's really super nice. Um, it says you don't need an entire drawer of a makeup brushes when you have one that does it all. Not only does this brush give makeup products an airbrush finish, blurring away the appearance of fine lines and pores, it also applies skincare like a dream. So, yeah, that's that. $48. That's, that's an expensive brush, but it is a nice quality brush. So I was thrilled to get that. Anytime I get brushes, I'm trying to build up my makeup brush uh, collection. And I started out with like really old, horrible ones. And so this is something I was really, really happy to see in my box. All right, let's go on to the next item. 
The next item is a palette. And I actually got two palettes. So I was really happy with that. This is by Lovecraft Beauty. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was a really nice, pretty palette. There's nothing like the natural flush on your cheeks after leaving the gym or when your crush walks into the room. Luckily, this blush palette gives you the same pinky glow without the sweat or nervous butterflies. Enter Lovecraft Beauty, which products with products formulated by makeup artist from Cell Daily. The brand is part skincare, part color cosmetics, and 100% magic. And I have this, I have it on today, and I really like it. It is a nice, nice blush, and I've used all three of them now. Um, and I really like these blushes. It does, it's not, you know, have you ever had a blush that you, you dip into it and you go, oh, you're like, oh my gosh, it's just way too pigmented. Um, I, and it's just not the right color or whatever. The, all three of these are really good colors for me and they, um, are really nice. Let's see, it's got a nice palette. I'm going to try to not blind you here. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better, right? <laughs> so yeah, they are just really nice shades. I have this one over here on today. And they blend really nice. And I think it's a nice natural look. And I was I'm, that's what I want. I don't need in your face um, makeup. I want something that looks more natural. Um, that's what I've been working towards is toning things down now that I'm older. Um, and I'm, I'm, this box really blew me away because it gave me some natural stuff that I could use to make more of a natural look. So I was really happy with this. Um, this retail values for $39. So I was like, wow, that's very, really great value. I forgot to total up my box, but I will do that here. I'll try to do it all in my head. Okay, the next item I received was Paris Hilton Skincare Pro DNA Dual Action Cleansing Gel. You might not be an actual heiress, but that doesn't mean you can't have rich girl skin. Ooh. This cleansing gel is infused with exfoliating caviar lime and pineapple derived enzymes to brighten skin, cucumber to depuff, and white tea extract to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and help repair sun damage. Use morning and night, squeeze a small amount on cleanser under your palm and add water to the lather. I have used this once and you do only want to use a small amount. What I thought was a small amount was way too much. So and I had like foam and I was doing my neck and my decollete and yeah, so you don't want to use a lot. This smells really, really, really super good. There it is. And that's a big bottle. I mean, that's a good size bottle. Let's see, that is four, ounce, four fluid ounces or 120 milliliters. Okay, and it smells really, I love the smell. It smells so nice and clean and it's kind of just like a gel. And it really lathered up nice. I mean, it is a lathering, more of a lathering one. But my face really felt clean and refreshed when I was done using this. Now, over the winter, my skin has really, really super dried out. Um, so I've been using a really, a really hydrating cleanser. So, but I'm wondering, you know, now that, you know, it's getting warmer and in the summer, I may need to, I've already thought maybe I might need to, go with something a little bit lighter. So this is something I probably am gonna use this summer and spring. So I really am glad that I got it. So let me put that away. And this retail values for $29, okay, $29. Yeah, it's a, it's a good smell. It's a nice clean, I don't know. It's a nice clean, cleany smell. I don't know how to describe it, but it's good. Okay, let's see the next item on the list here. Where's it at? Where's it? Oh, this one. This is by Benefit Cosmetics. And I think this is my first Benefit Cosmetic product I've ever gotten. So Benefit Cosmetics 
So it looks like is the highbrow eyebrow highlighter. Um, when your brows need a lift, look no further than this creamy highlighter brow pencil. This matte linen pink shade pops on and accentuates your arches for brighter, lifted, younger looking eyes. I like these pencils. I got another one. Um, I can't remember what box it was in, but I received another one that it, it, totally different brand that I really have loved. But this one I think I like better because this I think um, blends better into my natural skin tone. I got it on my brow bone today and I just highlighted it, put a little, little dab inside my eyes. And it's just not like in your face. It's more of a natural and I like that. So let me get this out of here. If I can get this, this thing has been kind of hard to get out of this box. So, so this is what it looks like. I really like that. Okay. And there's that. And it is kind of a pinky color. I don't know if you can see that color in there, but it was very nice and creamy and it blended really nice and I like it. So yeah, this was really nice. Um, I don't know if I tell you how much this was, but this retail value is for $22. Very, very pleased with that. Okay, last product is, let me get it out here. And this was, and this is a heavy palette. Um, this is by Laura Sanchez, Moods Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. Mood swings get a bad rap, but sometimes they can inspire different makeup looks. Score, this is, this all-in-one palette is loaded with matte and metallic shades of cheek and eye colors. An option for any mood you're in. Now you're equipped to express all the feels. This Colombian makeup artist was NYX Faces 2016 Beauty Vlogger of the Year. And her brand is all about bold color and self-expressions. Um, it says tip pack the neutral shades. It gives you some tips on there. Um, so there is some neutrals, and I do have this on my eyes today. And once you see the colors, you're going to like, wow, that's like something I would not use. But I got a really nice natural look with it. I really did, and I really am liking it. I really liked it. Um, I haven't used all the colors, and this is, I think, the second time I've used it. Um, but, yeah, it's a nice palette. So let me get it up here, and I'm going to cover the mirror up. And there it is. Yeah, so it looks kind of bright and wild and everything. But um, what I have on today is I first I went on, used the yellow, and I applied it to my lid, my whole eye. Then I went back over with this shade, which is a nice blending shade, and went back over it again. And then I used the crease and the corners of my eyes with the brown, with this brown shade. And I went under my eye with that as well. Then on the lid, I packed on some of this green. Since I had green on today, I'll try that. So I packed some of that on my lid. And then um, I did a little bit of that underneath my eye as well. And that's the look, you know, and it was quick and easy. Very quick and easy. And so you guys let me know what you think of how my eyes turned out today. I really liked it. Um, so I'm anxious to try the other ones. Um, I swatched this one and I swatched this, but I haven't really tried, played around with the highlighter. It looks kind of really, you know, I don't know, really, really. Oh, one's got like a pink shift. I didn't notice that. Okay, you guys are probably not going to be able to see that. Yeah, you're not going to see it. So anyway, um, I really haven't tried that really because I'm not a highlighter girl and I like the look that I came up with today without the highlighter, so I didn't put any on. Um, so let me swatch some of these colors for you. I didn't really experience any fallout. I, you know, and those are all the sh shimmer shades but they're very smooth they're not like chunky chunky and that's what i liked about it because if i get too chunky of a eye color on my eyes it makes my eyes look old and it shows every wrinkle and line and texture okay so then let me do the mattes 
And it was nice to have some things that had actually some mats to it. Most everything I've gotten was so shimmery all the time. And I'm really glad that I got some mats. Okay, this one is that right there. You're not going to see it very well. And then that was the brown and then the pink. And then well, where'd the purple go? Oh, purple's down there. The pink and then the yellow. And the yellow is kind of hard to see. So, but I like the yellow and I like this color because it, they're very blendable. Um, so, you know, I think I, I've come up with some different combinations. I think they'll be really cool with that. So what I like to do is I want to try this yellow with the purple. I don't know why, but I think that would be so cool. Just <laughs> some yellow and purple together. Um, but the pink and the blue, I think, would look really pretty together. Uh, so, yeah, I think this is something I'm going to really have a good time playing around with. And, of course, it came with a really nice brush as well. And I did use this the first uh, time I tried it, and it worked really nice. And I like that. I got another one of those little brushes. I only have one, and it's a lot smaller than this one. So, yeah, I think I'm going to really like that. So I think this is a really nice palette. It's a very heavy, um, and it's got a nice mirror on it. And there's the what it looks like. And let me open it up because it look, opens up. I don't want to lose my brush. That's what the whole thing looks like when it's, it's opened up. So, yeah, I think it's a really cool palette. I'm really happy to get it. When I, I saw an unboxing... And I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like those colors. Why are they always sending me these really bold, bold colors? But this one I like because you can um, use it for more natural looks. So that is my uh, Ipsy Glam Bag. First, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So let's total everything up. So the the brush was 48 That would be 79 Well, I'm just going to round it up. At $154 for all my for all the items, and I paid $25 and a little bit of tax. I think it was like $26 something with tax. So I think that's pretty good. So I got the Moods uh, Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. I got the Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette, which I love. And I got the Pro DNA Paris Hilton Cleanser. I got the Benefit Highbrow Pencil. And I got the It Cosmetics brush. So, yeah, complexion brush. So, I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm anxious to see what's going to happen next month, to be honest. And really limiting my subscriptions. Um, really, really limiting them. Um, but, anyway, I'm going to do another video on that. Um, so, anyway, you guys let me know in the, in the subscription box. In the description box um, what you thought of my look and what you thought of my box. And if you got Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, um, what did you get? Did you get something different than what I got? Um, so, it's supposed to be going off of their profile. And so, I think I seen that I pretty much got the same as what a lot of people got. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I don't want this video to get too long. So you take care and have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later.